night. Life saving efforts underway in East Tennessee to help firefighters. About 95% of them say they've experienced critical stress on the job from a recent study done by the International Association of Firefighters. It surveyed 7,000, and this comes as a bill expands firefighter access to PTSD treatment. It's sitting on the governor's desk awaiting his signature. Tonight, 10 News reporter Maria Guzman spoke with a retired chief from Seymour Volunteer Fire Department who is helping firefighters seek early help. For 46 years, Daryl Carroll put out fires and rescued strangers. Now he rescues his teammates. They've come up and said, I know what's wrong with me now. He teaches a volunteer and city firefighters how to recognize PTSD symptoms within themselves and others. For three years, his class has helped firefighters find early treatment before taking permanent solutions. And one gentleman uh, described to me his suicide plan. He says firefighters are first responders most likely to suffer from PTSD. That's because they're called to the worst case scenarios to provide emergency medical services. He says this leads firefighters to suffer from PTSD from all their five senses, like smell, taste, touch, sight, hearing, and even their dreams. Uh, for a long time when we would grill out and I would smell a steak, I could see this, the first body that I recovered that was burnt. It would, that smell would flash back into my head of the gentleman sitting there in the chair. Lynn Weir began fighting fires at 15 years old. His decades of service led him to experience PTSD in all his five senses. I believe it took my wife to finally sit down with me and, and, uh, and we figured it out and I pretty much broke down crying. Difficult testimony tonight. Maria joins us now and let's talk about how firefighters can get involved in that course, Maria. John, this four hour course is offered for free to any volunteer and city firefighter. It's approved by the Tennessee Commission on Firefighter Standards and Education. For more information on how you can take part of this course, you can visit our website at WBIR.com. John, we hope they take advantage. Maria, thank you.